The Quantum Doctor, a physicist's guide to health and healing. Dr. Amit Goswami. The distinction between conscious and unconscious. The idea that our subject-object split awareness arises from a quantum collapse enables us to understand the enigmatic concept of the unconscious that Freud introduced. The concept of the unconscious is important for the subject of health and healing in connection with psychosomatic disease. We suppress the memories of certain traumatic experiences so deep that consciousness seldom collapses them, delegating them to what is called unconscious processing. The memories of these experiences are processed by producing somatic effects of disease, but we are not aware of them because we never collapse these memories in our conscious thoughts. Somebody is uneasy about feelings and suppresses them, relegating them to the unconscious, creating blocks in the flow of vital energy. These blocks eventually lead to malfunctioning organs when we have a conscious experience of disease, but we are not aware of the energy blocks that are responsible for the disease. Unconscious Processing and Creativity Creativity is an undeniable component of biological beings. We can see the similarity of the two modes of movement of the quantum object, continuity and discontinuity, in two important components of the creative process. It is well known that the creative process consists of four distinct stages – preparation, unconscious processing, insight and manifestation. The first one and the last one are obvious. Preparation is reading up and getting acquainted with what is already known, and manifestation is capitalizing on the new idea, obtained as insight, by developing a product. These stages are both done more or less in a continuous fashion. But the middle two processes are more mysterious. They are the analogues of the two stages of quantum dynamics. As discussed previously, unconscious processing refers to processing during which we are conscious but not aware. We process the possibilities but remain inseparate with them. In creativity, unconscious processing is believed to account for the proliferation of ambiguity of thought. Creative insight, on the other hand, is found to be sudden and discontinuous. It is the analogue of the quantum leap, a discontinuous leap of thought without going through the intermediate steps. Unconscious processing produces a multitude of possibilities. Insight is the collapse of one of these possibilities. Thus, once we permit quantum thinking in our science of us, we make room for both continuous and discontinuous processes. We make room for creativity. Learn more about our exciting educational programs at quantumuniversity.com.